best day ever. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on this all matte makeup tutorial. Perfect for fall. I mean, perfect for fall. This is like the definition of fall makeup, don't you think? I'm gonna give you guys two lip options. The brand new NARS Velvet Lip Glides. These just came out. There are a total of 12 shades. NARS hooked the girl up and sent me all of them. Thank you very much, NARS. I literally have every single color and I'm obsessed. I actually wore this guy over here during New York Fashion Week and there are a few photos on Instagram as well as my blog. You guys love this color. Every time I post a photo with this, you're like, what is it? This one's called Area, but I'm not gonna use this today. I had a lot of coffee, by the way, today. Um, I'm gonna be using these two colors. You'll see in a minute. They're amazing. They glide on. They're so comfortable to wear, super creamy. So yeah, without blabbering, let's get started with this look. I hope you enjoy the look. As usual, I've already got my moisturizer and primer on, so I'm gonna go in with my foundation. This is by Clarence. I don't know if I've used this on my channel before. I probably have, but this is the Skin Illusion Foundation, and this has SPF 10, and my shade is 112.5 Caramel. Whoa, that's a mouthful. I'm gonna go ahead and use, I think three pumps should be good. Going back to my Kabuki brush that I used to use like every single time, remember guys? Sigma F80. I kind of miss this brush, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this all over my skin. I've also tanned a little bit, obviously, from Maui. I'm obsessed with Maui. Oh my gosh, every time I think about it, I'm like, I wanna move there. It was my first time visiting, by the way. I fell in love with it, it was so nice. And then we went from there to New York, which obviously is like so different, right? And I was just missing Maui every single day. Next, I'm gonna go in with my concealer, and this is no surprise to you guys. Yes, I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. I'm still obsessed with this concealer because I just think it's the best. So I'm obviously concealing and highlighting, which is why I'm going down so far. And then a little bit on the center of the nose. Blend away. Okay, so for my contour, I'm gonna use this brand new product by Kiko. And I'm just gonna use, obviously, the dark shade to kind of uh, carve out the hollows of my cheeks. Ooh, I like the color. It's my first time using this, by the way. So I'm just gonna run this bronzer on the sides of my nose, very lightly. I don't like overly contoured noses. I'm just slimming down my face right now, guys. So I like to put this on my jawline, of course, and then kind of take it down, blend it really well. So it just kind of shapes my face and really defines my features. So I'm also gonna try the lighter shade and apply it on the high points of my cheeks. Ooh, I like this. A little on the tip. Cupid's bow. All right, so now that I have my cream products on, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything in place using a translucent powder. I am using Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm just gonna apply this directly under my eyes and then around the center of my face. Next, I am going to bronze my skin just a little bit using the Betty Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics. I haven't used this in so long. So I'm just going to lightly kind of go over and bronze my skin a little bit. Add a nice glow. And then for my blush, I'm going to go in with one of my favorites. This is the Milani Luminoso. It's just such a beautiful peach color and I'm just gonna apply this lightly on the apples of my cheeks. To prime my eyes, I'm actually gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because I think it does a really good job. I know some people hate seeing me do this because they think it creases over time. And you know what? Yes, if you have really oily eyelids, I probably wouldn't do this, but I have really dry skin. So I think for me personally, this works really well. So just very little, and then you just want to blend it in place. So since I'm going for an all matte look, I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette by BH Cosmetics. And the first color that I'll be using is something just for the crease, and I'll go in with this guy over here because it's very warm. 
So I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and apply this on my crease, starting from the outer corners and then bringing it all the way in. This is a really, really pretty uh, all matte, obviously, transitional color, and I think once we layer all these dark colors, this is really going to help the look a lot by making it look really warm and youthful. Next, I'm going to pick up this shade over here. And again, I'm just going to apply this on the outer corners and then blend it all the way in. So this time I'm bringing it down so it's not just on my crease. I'm applying this kind of all over. And then for me personally, I love bringing darker shades on the inner corners kind of high up. For some reason, it just makes it look so pretty. And then on the outer corners, of course, you don't want to do that because you want your brow bone to be nice and bright. So I'm also going to use that same plum color on the bottom lash line. And I want this to be nice and thick, so I'm using the same fluffy brush. This is the Sigma number E25. Okay, next I'm going to use this color over here. It's like a bluish gray color. And I am going to apply this on the outer corners to really intensify it. I'm still in that same brush, by the way. Then I'm going to pick up a clean, fluffy brush and then just soften the edges. I'm also going to apply this on the inner corners. To really smoke this out. It's funny because when I go out, I almost never do like super dramatic looks on me. For some reason, I like the really bronzy and sort of a natural smoky eye. But I love having fun and filming these kinds of looks every now and then. I don't know. Tell me what you guys enjoy more. Like softer looks or more dramatic looks? So again, I'm just going to apply that darker color on the bottom lash line again. So next I'm going to pick up this ivory color, again all matte. And then I'm just going to pop this on the inner corners and the brow bone. I'm sorry, that was my computer again. I should have put it on silent. I'm going to use a black eyeliner and apply this on the inner rim. Okay, for my brows, I'm going to go in with my Kelly Baker powder in brown, and it's like a taupey color. I'm just going to fill in my brows. Again, my brows look like a hot mess right now because I'm really trying hard to grow them so that when I go back to my girl, she can shape it the way it used to be before I mess it up by going somewhere else, you know? I think I'm gonna go ahead and go over this gray just a little bit with the purple. I don't mind it, but I just wanna see what it will look like if we kind of take it to the purple side, you know? So next I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. I am going to use the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. For my lashes, I'm going to go in with these red cherries. I already took them apart, but these are called Jennifer, and they're really pretty. They're like wispies. I think the best thing to do to apply lashes on yourself is to tilt your head back like that. And then as you could see, there's so much space here. You could just look straight into the mirror and then pop the lashes really close to your lash line. You just want to adjust it with your tweezers. Just have patience because you totally need patience. So then I just close it and kind of make sure that it's nice and attached. And then you want to wait until the glue dries, which probably never happens. So you might have to go over it with something dark to kind of cover that. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and pop the other one on and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyes are done. I think it turned out really, really pretty. I'm so glad that I added a little bit of that purple because I think it just flows better. Now for the lips, I... Honestly, I have like three colors that I want to use. This brown one is something that I've used a ton on my Instagram and on my blog. I'll link some things down below so you guys can see it. 
This is probably my favorite one from the collection. For this look specifically, I feel like this would look so pretty. And by the way, the brown one is called Area. And then this one over here is called La Main Blue. The main blue, which I think would look really pretty with this kind of the colors and everything. Um, but then I feel like a lot of people with smoky eye like to wear a nude. So what I'm going to do is show you guys these two and you be the judge on which one you like better. And of course, I want to know in the comments below which one you like better. I'm going to start with the nude one first. And the nude is called Stripped. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over. So I think this is so natural and oh my god, I love this color. Mm. So as you can see, I'm not wearing a lip liner because I don't think you necessarily need it. Um, you totally can if you want to make your lips a little bit bigger and, and just shape it more. But I think it looks good the way it is. I am loving this color over here, but let's see what the darker one looks like. All right, so let's see what Le Main Blue is gonna look like. And this one is really cute. It says Glide on it, as you can see. And by the way, these are really buildable. So if you like a sheer look, you can just apply one layer. But if you want more opacity, then you can go in a few times. The tip really helps define the outer corners. That's why I don't think you need a lip pencil for this one. I just love how you could just shape it with the tip of the wand. So I wanna know what your favorite lip color is in the comments below or what you would wear more with this kind of eye look. I personally like both, it just depends. I would probably wear the nude for more daytime events and then this more for an evening event because it's definitely a lot more dramatic. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. Also, if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe, stick around. My schedule has been changing here and there, but for the most part, I do upload two brand new videos every single week. There are tons of new videos coming your way. If you don't want to miss it, click that subscribe button, join the fam bam, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. I love you so much. Bye. I feel like you have a good intro move on with life. Uh, oh my gosh, one more time.